Oh, it's a snowy day here on the farm, folks. And today on the homestead, we're just kind of doing a nice little project on some of our wooden utensils, the wooden spoons. We've been blessed to get cherry wood blanks in the shape of a spoon from a great family friend here in town um, for Christmas. He gave us a bunch of wooden spoon blanks because my family really likes working with wooden spoons. And these blanks are handmade by him. So now we've got the work to make them into what we want. So the first thing we're going to do is kind of take a pencil and, and mark out the spoon part. So this is nice cherry wood. Um, it's literally like 20 degrees outside and snowing like a foot, whatever. Um, not a problem. We're going to spend the day in the shop today and we're going to mark out the area that we're going to make this spoon into. Um, off this blank, we've got, I think, I think he gave us four or five of these blanks so we can make a whole set of these wooden spoons. They've got so much more strength than the typical wooden spoons that you can buy that are cheap fur junk in the stores. We're going to take our whittling tools out here. We're going to use our kind of our half moon gouger and we're going to just gouge this out and make our spoon. Now, this is not really a dad project. This is one of my kids projects. So Tabitha here is, is starting away on it. As you can see, she's just taking her time and whittling out the spoon. Now, to be quite honest, folks, this takes time. This is not something where I'm going to show this whole thing on this video. I mean, she's at this literally for several hours getting this the way she wants. So I'm just going to show you, you know, um, some time here, maybe, you know, 30 seconds of it. Not, not too long so that you can kind of appreciate all the work that goes into this. Now, certainly you could do this with a drill press. You could do this with um, a grinding bit. Certainly could do this with a Dremel or a Dremel stylo. You could do it with any of those kind of tools. Once you're done and you've sanded it, we started with 60 grit, then went to 100 grit, and then went to 120 grit. Tabitha got it looking really nice. Now, this is not gonna be one of our deepest spoons, but we're gonna take some beeswax and some avocado oil we're gonna put these together and we're gonna commit this spoon to it. This, like I said, is just beautiful right now. She's done a really nice job of sanding this, taking down all the edges, getting rid of any flaking on the wood and stuff like that. So now off to just kind of double boil this. So I've got um, a couple tablespoons of avocado oil in here on the stove. She's just added her beeswax from her hives, probably about the amount of a tablespoon. So probably a two to one. You can do a one to one if you want, but the wax sometimes gets a little hard to rub in. And by the way, you could certainly use mineral oil. I just don't trust petroleum jelly products in my food. Um, and you can use other oils too. Um, and you don't need to use beeswax. If you commit to beeswax, again, you're kind of committed to the beeswax oil. So, uh, you know, I guess that's a preference. I personally like it. I think it does better. We're going to put this on. Then we're going to follow up after it's dry, um, dry to touch that is, with another coat of avocado oil and probably let it sit for a couple days and then even re-oil it again with this and then we'll start using it. it. It's that simple. Now this stuff is really, really hot folks so obviously I'm going to use a brush to get this on and as I start to put it on, it starts to cool on that wood, starts to kind of turn into a wax. Don't worry about it. We're going to buff all that in. So at the beginning, like I said, just just get it kind of heavily on there. Don't don't worry about the little nitty gritty details of it. This is kind of like seasoning a cast iron pan. You know, you get that cast iron, you, you take that, you know, pig lard or bacon fat, whatever you want to use and start seasoning that pan again and again and again and get that oil literally into that metal. That's kind of what we're doing here. We're taking this really hot avocado mixed with beeswax putting it on the wood, letting it kind of absorb in. Then we're going to rub it in really good. Then we're going to hit it with some more avocado, let it dry, let the air do its job a little bit, and then we'll hit it with some more avocado. Then we'll start using it. And about a week into using it, just do a quick rub down with some oil. And then probably every couple months, uh, another rub down with oil. And you'll have a beautiful spoon. Now what's neat about these, these spoons made by our neighbors Charlie just does a good job. He really gives us a decent handle. You go to the store, you're, you're picking up something that's like, you know, a quarter of an inch thick handle round furred, you know, wooden spoon for a couple bucks. That's not the case when you get a nice blank like this. 
This thing's like an inch wide at the top, nice half moon to fit your, fit your hand. You can make a nice depression in the center of it, or you can make a shallow depression, depending upon what you want. And, and these things, they, they hold up fantastic for years, literally for years if you take care of them. They are just really nice pieces to have. The harder woods, like the cherries and the oak, are absolutely fantastic. They just take a little work because they're harder to soak up that material and be nice. Um, our wooden spoons, we kind of hand wash. I know some people throw them in the dishwasher, but I find there's more cracking if we throw them in the dishwasher. So it's one of those things where I would highly recommend that, you know, just, you know, take some gentle, you know, regular dishwasher cleaning by hand on these things. They're not the kind of thing that needs to get beat up by um, all the, the temps and, and hydration of the uh, dishwasher, if you know what I mean. So now Tabitha's taken back over. She's just got a dry paper towel here. I've put this kind of hot stuff on. It's, it's cool enough to the touch, as you see. She can touch it. And she is just working it in, just rubbing it in. That's, that's all we're going to do here for a few minutes. And it's going to go really, really quite nicely. By the time she gets this thing all rubbed in, it, it'll it look great. I mean, you know, it'll, it'll start picking up a nice color. Um, and certainly it'll, it'll darken. I know some people may not like that darker color, but I love it. I think it brings out the grain better. Um, as you can see, it's, it's starting to get a shine to it. Now that, that shine will dull over time. Don't get me wrong, but I'm just feeling it to make sure she's worked it all in well. And then checking to make sure it's really nice and cooling down. And it is. So then I'm going to just put a top coat of more avocado right on the top of this. And then we're going to let this dry. Now, it's a little messy, obviously, to use just straight oil. I probably could use the brush here, but I'm just going to just use a paper towel and, you know, put it on. I find that, you know, I've got plastic. I've got metal on the farm, all sorts of different types of spoons. But there's just something about the feel of a beautiful handcrafted, um, carved out, you know, wooden spoon. I just... I just really like them, and so does my daughter. So here I am just using my fingers, and now I'm really just soaking it with the pure avocado oil. I've already got the wax on it with the avocado mixture, and now I'm just going to just kind of wipe it down, um, kind of like buffing it a little bit, so to speak, and then we're going to let this dry. The next day we'll put another coat of this avocado on it, and boom, ready to go. It's just it's really kind of a nice treasure. Um, these are the kind of things where... You know, when you go to grandma's house and she pulls out her old utensils and her old spoons like this, that as a young growing person, you learn to really appreciate once you're an adult. And uh, my daughter right now has a good appreciation for it now. And uh, I'm real thankful that for that on the farm. See how the beautiful color this is? You can see all the veins of that, of that wood. It's just, it's gorgeous. I just, I think that's just is the way to do it. So again, let this dry for at least a day, put another coat of oil on it. It's good to start using it, folks. It's a beautiful piece of equipment. I hope to have it for many, many years. Look at that. Is that not pretty or what? That is a gorgeous piece of swoon wood. It's nice and sturdy, it's thick, it's durable. I'm real appreciative that Charlie gave me these blanks. I love seeing my daughters work on them and turn them into things that are family usable. So let's get this uh, put away. Just gonna let this dry out here. But this is the completed product. Like I said, we'll put one more coat of oil on and we'll start using it. If you truly treasure wooden spoons, folks, give this project a try. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and follow us on our different channels. We really appreciate it. Thank you, folks.